Capturing signatures and saving them to the local file storage are helpful for applications that rely on customer approvals. So it can be used, for example, for asking for signatures when the delivery guy comes to your house or if you are signing a sales contract or other agreements or also when you're opening a bank account or other accounts. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started by creating a signature field with two buttons. So one is for accepting this signature and the other one is for clearing this field again. Therefore, I have created a stateful widget and inside of the state we create a signature controller which we initialize in our init state method. And secondly, we override the dispose method and free our controller resources up if it is not used anymore. In our case, we want to make a use of the signature package, which supports the signature automatically. And we also can later export our signature easily. Therefore, we need to go to the pubspec jaml file. And here you need to add the signature under your dependencies inside. Next, we want to create here at the bottom two buttons and after it also the signature field. Therefore, I go to the build method and here I create a method build buttons and inside of this method we create a row and here we basically create two buttons, the check icon and the clear icon. And therefore we create here first of all the check icon. Here I create an icon button with this check symbol and I also do the same thing for the other button. Here I put then a clear icon inside. And with this we have here at the bottom two buttons which we later can click to accept our signature or to discard our signature. After this, we want to build on top of our buttons the signature field and here inside we put then the controller which we have initialized before. And for this field, you can also set a background color. So in my case, I put the background color to black. However, you can also choose here any other color for your signature field. You also can change the height of your signature field. Therefore, you have this property height and I set it right now to 200 pixels. So this is also what you could do. And then you also have the width property where you also can set the width of your signature field. If you don't supply the height and width, it will always take the maximum width it can get. And I will also put it here again to the black color. Before we can use our signature field, we go again to our controller. And here we put then the pen color and I set it here right now to white. And after this, you can draw here on your field and he is having here the white color which we have specified. Next to the color of your pen, you also can specify the strength of your pen and I set it here to 5 pixels. And after you hot restart your application, you should see that this is a bit stronger. Next, we want to implement the check and the clear icon. So if we click on the clear icon, then we want to clear our signature. And this is pretty simple. So we go to our clear button and if we press on this clear button, we call the controller.clear method. And now if I click here on this button, it will clear our signature. Next, if we click here on the check symbol, then we want to export our image and we can also save it then to our local storage. And we also can open it up then in our photo gallery. Therefore, if we click on this check icon, then we want to first of all check if we have a signature and if our signature is not empty, then we want to export our signature. And therefore, I create here a new method export and within this method, we create a new signature controller. And inside of the signature controller, you can then specify how your image should look like, which should be exported. So here I set, for example, a different stroke width. And I also set here the pen color to black and the export background color to white. And this will make sure that the image which we export later has a white background color and a black pen color, which we have specified here within these two fields. And lastly, we want to get here the signature, which we have before created with our signature controller. And therefore I simply go here to this export controller and here you have this property points. And then we put the points of our signature inside. So basically this is a list of points and this has then all the points of the signature, which you see here right now on the screen. And after this, you can call here this export controller. And here you can, for example, export it to PNG bytes. Or alternatively, you also can write here to image, then he will create here an image object for you. We want to export it here to bytes and after it, you also need to dispose your export controller so that you clean everything up again. And then we simply return here the signature, which are our bytes. 
After the user has clicked on this check symbol, we go to a new page and here we see then the preview of this image, which we have exported. And then the user can decide if it should be saved on the local storage or not. Therefore, we go again to our check icon and here inside we basically call this navigator.push and then we create here a new page. And within this page, we put then the signature bytes inside, which we have exported before. Next, we want to create the signature preview page. And within this page, we get then the signature, our bytes, and we want to display them within the body property. Therefore, I call here this image memory and I put here then the signature bytes inside. And with this, you see a preview of your signature. And secondly, we want to create here a check button at the top. And if we click on this button, then we export it to our local file storage. Therefore, I go to the app bar and here I create this icon button. And every time if you click on this button, then we want to store our signature. And therefore, I create here this method store signature. And first of all, we need to get the storage permissions. And therefore, we request here our storage permissions. And to make use of these storage permissions, you need to go to your pubspec jammer file. And here you need to add this permission handler under your dependencies inside. And we also make use of the image gallery saver package to export our signature and to store it in our local file storage. And to make use of these both packages, you also need to go to your Android folder app source main Android manifest. And here make sure that you put this right external storage permission inside of your Android manifest file. And also within the application tag, you need to add this statement inside. Now let's go back to our store signature method. And here next to requesting the signature, we also want to store our signature. And therefore I put here this name inside where we want to store our signature to. And we want to make our signature name unique so that we can store multiple signatures. Therefore, I also include here the time itself and put it inside of our file pass. After this, we make use of the image gallery saver plugin. And here you have this message save image. And first of all, we need to put then the bytes inside, which are here our signature. And secondly, you can set the name of this file, which we want to save. And in our case, we have then here this file name. And this statement saves then our signature on iOS and Android and it will be publicly visible within the gallery. After this, we get here the result back and we can check here if it is successful. And if we have successfully stored our image, then we also want to navigate to the previous screen. And with this, we go then back to our signature page where we can add our signature. And secondly, we also want to show a snack bar, which says then save to signature folder so that the user sees that it was successfully saved. However, if our signature was not successfully stored, then we also want to add here this case and we also show a snack bar only this time that we say here that it has failed. And now we can try it out. So we have here our signature and I click here on the check icon and then it first of all asks us for the permission what we have specified here and you click then on allow and then it says save to signature folder. And it is also going back to the previous page, what we have specified with this navigator.pop. And now you can go here out of your application and then you go here to this photos app. And inside of your photos app, you see here this pictures folder and inside of it, we have then our signature stored as a file. And you don't need to save here your signature as a file. Instead, you also can put these bytes to your server and then it is stored on your server instead of this local storage. After we have stored our signature on our local storage, it will come back to this page. However, the signature is still here and maybe you want to clear this. Therefore, you simply go here after this navigator.push and make sure that you evade it. And after we come then back, then we want to clear our controller again, which will then clear our signature. And now if I click here on the check symbol and then I export it, he will go back and he has also cleared the signature. In real world signature apps, you want to change maybe your orientation of your phone to the landscape mode. And therefore we want to create here at the bottom a button where you can tap on and then he is switching between the landscape mode and the portrait mode. Therefore, let's get started by building here first of all this text and this icon under our buttons. 
Therefore, I go to the build method and under our buttons, we create this build swap orientation. And within this method, we basically get then first of all the current orientation, if it is portrait or landscape. And secondly, we create here a row and inside of this row, we want to create an icon, which is then changing depending on this is portrait flag. So one time it shows this icon and other time it shows this landscape icon. And next to it, we also want to display a text which says tap to change signature orientation. And with this, we have already here this text. And now if we tap on it, then we want to change our orientation of our phone. Therefore, we wrap here our UI inside of a gesture detector. And every time if we then tap here, then we want to get the new orientation. So basically we are here saying if we are currently in the portrait mode, then we want to go to the landscape mode. Otherwise we go to the portrait mode. And with this, we toggle our orientation and we also want to clear our controller so that it is not having here a wrong format because we switch our orientation. And lastly, we want to create this method set orientation to set our new orientation. And within the set orientation method, we check here if the orientation is landscape, then we can change here to the landscape orientation. Or if we are changing to the portrait mode, then we also define that we are going here to the portrait mode. And with this implementation, you can click now on this button and then he will switch to the landscape orientation. And if you click again on this button, then he will go again back to the portrait mode. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye!